class is in session. Let's go over those. Uh, Chris, you take, take the first one. The occupational sites that you're working with. We are building education into everything that we do and transforming not only what we teach, but our organization so that we, we more resemble a college level atmosphere. It certainly looks like a college and students will tell you it definitely feels like one too. I think we need some more educational background to compare us to the officer level so that when we get out we have something also to offer. The course runs nine months. Students take classes like the Warrior Leader course and the Sergeant's Major course. Classrooms are even equipped to conduct classes online. Part, part of the thing the Academy asks us to do is impart that experience that we have so we can actually relate the lessons to a real life uh, experience that our students will go through as they leave here. Established in 1972, the greatest challenge the Academy faces today is evolving with the Army. NCOs are doing much more than they've ever done in the past and we, the officers are relying on them to take on missions that they wouldn't have in the, in the past and we have to keep up with that. Um, how was it? The Sergeant Major of the Army, Kenneth Preston, visits the Academy frequently to get feedback from students. The course, yes, it was stressful. However, I felt like I've learned a lot. With 2009 being the year of the NCO, the Sergeant's Major can feel a spotlight on them. We need to get out there and ensure that we're recognized. We can't be in the back. We have to be the leaders. Crystal Park, Fort Bliss, Texas. Mm -hmm.